Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're going to take you for a little look around Sea Houses, which is where we went for Christmas. While we were there, we also had a little nosy around the campsite as well, because it is one that we fancy doing in future. And I've got to say, it looked really nice, cracking sight. So watch this space. Let's go and take a look around. <laughs> We were spending Christmas 2022 with Rachel's dad and Sheila and we were staying at the Bambra Castle Inn in Sea Houses which is a large village on the Northumberland coastline. We'd chosen to stay in the hotel rather than the camper van this year, so we were all together for Christmas. Here's a quick look round our room. There was a nice view out of the window looking out towards the North Sea. There's a small selection of shops in sea houses and plenty of places to get fish and chips too. There's a harbour at sea houses known as North Sunderland Harbour and also Sea Houses Harbour. One of the reasons for choosing to stay in the hotel was it was dog friendly so Roxy could come with us too. Just over the road, Seafield Park, which is predominantly static caravans, but it does have some touring pitches. There's a lovely walk along the coastal path, which takes you to some beautiful sandy beaches. Roxy and I are just out for a little wander on the beach and you'll probably see her in the background there. So today we're off on a trip out on the boat. There are a number of operators that take boats out. This was Boxing Day, so there were only a couple of them operating. We chose to go with Billy Shield. Bambra Castle there. We chose the Grey Seal Cruise, which was one and a half hours, partly because it was the only one that was operating, but that seemed like a good time. You can take your dog on the boat as well. The boats take you on a tour of the Farn Islands, and at certain times of the year you can get some of the cruises which actually land there so you can explore the islands. As well as the seals, there was birds and other wildlife to see as well on the cruise. We paid £20 an adult and Roxy was free. There are a number of lighthouses on the Farn Islands to help notify ships that they're coming up to a rocky area. These are now all automated. You can see St Cuthbert's Chapel here on the inner farm. I was really surprised at how many seals there were.
And here's some more seals. Here's St Cuthbert's Chapel again on the way back round. You can see some of the younger seals here as pupping season had just finished a month or so earlier. We then headed back to the harbour, tore over. After the boat trip, we then went for a wander on the beach, which was brilliant. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come. Yes, I am on my way. So there's a quick look around. So Rachel, what did you think of Christmas at the Bambra Castle Inn in Sea Houses? It was really good. It's the first time we've ever gone away for Christmas in the hotel. Uh, it was lovely. It was so nice not to have to do any of the thinking and the planning and the shopping, etc. Food, delicious. Company, Dad, Sheila, Bob on, thank you. It was really nice. It was relaxing. The hotel was so dog friendly, it was untrue. There must have been about 40 dogs in there. It was brilliant. They were so well looked after. It was great. What about you? Oh, it was really nice to do something different for, for Christmas and the first time we've ever done anything like that. In the future, I'd like to try the camper van for Christmas, um, definitely. But it, as I think we mentioned in a previous video, it's something we'd kind of uh, pre-planned. So it was a lovely change, something a little bit different and really nice being beside the seaside and uh, lovely places to walk along. And as Rachel said, amazingly dog friendly, uh, which I don't know if it's me, but that seems quite unusual because it was always a pain going to a hotel with a dog. 
whereas here it, it was uh, kind of well looked after and we sussed the place out for a future visit. The only uh, complaint I'd have is the hotel made a bit of a mess up of the bill in the end which was a bit of a pain to get sorted out and uh, tried to charge us for someone else's table which wasn't great. Other than that um, it was good. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.